Hey, may I help you? Yes, we're looking to save on car insurance, even if that means we have to shop all day, right, honey? Yep, all day. Good thing you're starting here. We compare your progressive direct rate to other top companies, so you can save money. Look, you saved a lot. And quick, too. And no more holding her purse. It's a European shoulder bag. It was a gift. Shopping less and saving more. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Every Saturday morning. Good morning, time to get our weekend started here. Get a forecast for your life and how you live it. So enjoy that weekend break while you get it. Weekend View, Saturday morning at 7. Weather looks fantastic here. Only on the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. Are you weatherproof? Weatherproof, Sunday nights at 9. Now, your local on the AIDS. may remind southerners of February. Details on who will see snow in the next 24 hours. Dashcam video captures a chilling scene. Tonight, more on the officer who survived this crash. Plus, it's been three years since a deadly tornado hit Enterprise, Alabama. We revisit the scene and see how the community is rebuilding. everyone it is monday night another round of wintry weather coming to the south can you believe it welcome in to weather center i'm alexandra steve and i'm chris one jim cantori is taking a few days to recover from his long stretch his assignment there in vancouver for the winter games yeah i can't wait for him to come back probably next week i'm sure he'll have a lot to say and armed with goodies well atlanta is one of those southern cities chris that we've been talking yeah. about falling under yet another <laughs> snow threat as is alabama tennessee and the carolinas all could get the mix so chris is going to walk us through what could happen. Yeah, that's right. We are keeping a close eye on this one. Initially, we are seeing some heavy rain throughout parts of the south, and then by tomorrow during the day, we could be seeing some snowflakes flying throughout parts of the south. And yes, that does include the Atlanta area. Now, the main folks that we're looking at right here, now we have some showers in the northeast and another storm moving into the west, but this is what could potentially cause some problems. Already seen some heavy rain out of this in uh, Gulfport, Macomb, and Mississippi. More than an inch of rain. Louisiana, we've seen some spots more than an inch and a half, like in New Orleans and Lafayette, an inch and a quarter. So, this is bringing with it a good dose of soaking rain. So, initially, you go outside, it's a little too 
warm for snow now, but as things develop, we could see some snow as we get some colder air in place. And as things uh, start to cool down, we have a chance for some accumulating snow as well. We're going to watch this low tonight move through the south uh, during the day tomorrow. So we're going to watch it move farther to the east through the south there. Could bring some isolated severe storms throughout parts of Florida. And yes, North Georgia, Alabama, and even parts of Mississippi could see a few flakes flying. We'll have more on your coast to coast forecast in a moment. But first, let's find out what's making headlines with Alex. Well, obviously, this making headlines certainly from the weekend. The 8.8 magnitude earthquake that shook chilly Saturday morning now has killed more than 700, and hundreds of thousands have been displaced. The quake also triggered a tsunami that damaged southern towns. It also impacted Hawaii and California. We'll have much more on this story coming up later in the show. Also across Europe, severe weather is leaving a path of destruction. Hurricane force winds and heavy rain caused flooding that killed at least 60 and left dozens more missing. In France, homes and ports are submerged by water and more than a million are without power tonight. The same system battered Belgium, Portugal, Spain and Germany. And last week's winter storm is still causing trouble even today. In Ohio, the accumulation of snow and ice caused this store roof to collapse. Insurance companies are urging residents and businesses to clear away the snow to prevent any potential damage like this one. Thousands are still without power, and utility companies say it could be another few days before everyone gets back online. And spring is only three weeks away, and that means allergy season is near. Well, a new study out today says climate change is extending the pollen season, making your allergies last longer. Now, the team of Italian researchers say as average temperatures rise, so does the length of our pollen seasons. And nearly 25 million Americans suffer from allergies. Many of those are children. All right, now let's talk back to Chris, and he takes us coast to coast. And we're taking a look first at the West Coast where we have another storm system moving in. It's going to bring some more rain to the lower elevations and closer to the coast and then get up into higher elevations. We're going to see some snow out of this. Not a ton, but we're going to see some snow here. Temperatures in the mid 50s. Portland, Oregon, San Francisco will also be in the mid 50s. And you get down to Los Angeles should stay dry there. 67 Southwest though looking gorgeous. Phoenix play a little golf. 76 degrees. Meanwhile, upper Midwest, we are going to see some sunshine, but it's going to stay cool. Daytime highs mainly in the 30s. Let's take a look at Chicago right now where we have a nice scene. It looks like uh, 29 degrees. A little chilly when you head out the door there. Thank you, WMAQ TV, for providing us with this shot. Meanwhile, take a look at the south, and if you can believe it, we are talking about snow. Even in Atlanta could see a couple inches of snow. Most likely the accumulation will be happening on the grassy surfaces. And we'll take a live look now at Atlanta. Nothing falling from the sky yet. It's 53 degrees. I mean, we're talking about snow. And it's 53 degrees outside right now. You know, that's something. It's going to be a different story coming tomorrow. It's to start off as rain and then eventually mix over that rain, snow mix, and possibly at times could be all snow. Could see some accumulating snow. Whether or not it hangs around the roads, that's something that will be remain remains to be seen. We look at the northeast here. Still some of those leftover snow showers and some rain showers. Not a ton, but still a little bit lingering with the base of this trough right here. And it's going to be cool and cloudy on average pretty much everywhere. Philadelphia to Pittsburgh the afternoon could see a, a few showers there in Pittsburgh. So that's a look at your coast to coast forecast. Alex and a lot of those cities coming in with their snowiest Februarys on record. New York, Washington and Pittsburgh and more snow for you. All right, we're just getting started here on the show. Chris and I have a lot more coming up. Here's a peek. Winter flexed its muscle in February. See why March is no time to relax. Remember, rebuild, recover, the motto now in Enterprise, Alabama, three years after a tornado hit. Tonight, our Julie Martin returns.